Jolie here, four seconds out of Harvey Horn for the first time. Not sure why it's taken so long, but we're here after a good win. How are you, man? I feel good, man. I feel good. Yeah, six rounds dusted. Good to be back. Good to be back. How does it feel to be back in the wing column? How does it feel to be so? No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good to be back in the wing column, I mean, especially after the last one. Last one was a bit of a stinker, wasn't it? So it's good to get back out of the wing. But um, lot of, a lot of good things to draw from the performance. A um, couple of things that we've got to improve on. Quite a few things, I'll be honest. Um, still box well, show me boxing ability. My boxing ability, I'll be honest, is never in doubt. Without sounding big-headed, it's not my skill that's in doubt. It's um, a bit of confidence, a bit of confidence in me punching power, a bit of confidence in me work rate. Um, but yeah, a lot of positives to draw on it as well. What did you make of being here at the Wasserman Show, obviously, again, in uh, O2? It was a nice, nice little atmosphere. Mate, it's a great little venue, isn't it? I've never been in here before. I've never watched any boxing. I've, I've never boxed in here. I box in the big O2 next door. And I'll be honest, that's too big. You know, like, unless it's packed out, it's too big, especially with it like coming on third, fourth, like in the, in the thing. It would have been boxing in front of no one, you know. Like at least there was a bit of atmosphere with this one. But it's weird, like a stage setting, and that ring is the smallest ring I've ever been in. You seen it, mate? It's like a phone box. When I got in there, I thought, oh my god, I don't have to be on my toes. But it was good. It was great, great experience again, isn't it? Good to be back out, and obviously hoping to be active this year. Hundred percent. I'll be active very soon. Very soon. I'll be out again. Yeah. Do you have any news? I do, but I can't can't say nothing. I'll be out again. Like I reckon within within uh, let's say let's say six weeks, I'll be out within six weeks. Ballpark, ballpark. But yeah, Mark Tibbs obviously in the corner, working really well together. Mate, it's a great little corner. I mean, when it's like when I'm fighting, but even when I'm fighting like seasoned people, you know, if I've got, I look at my corner, I've got Mark and Jimmy Tibbs in there. I mean, Sunny Callum, my strength and conditioner as well. I look in that corner and I think, mate, it's, there's not really a, it's a tough corner to beat. And when you're talking like domestic, there's not much around that, like, as in you've got some top trainers, but that is one of the best like corners for knowledge, experience. Like what more can you ask for out of that corner? So it gives me confidence just being with them. Let's say you're out in what, six weeks, maybe the June 17th show. I'm actually just, oh, maybe, there is, yeah. Um, is it going to be a step up or are we going to see a similar opponent as tonight? No, nah, no, nah, step up, step up, no fucking about mate. No, um, I mean, these are they're great for run outs, but I'm 26 now, I need to start pushing on a little bit. I mean, the, the old's gone, the old's gone, I've got to get over it, get over it and start getting stuck in domestically. Um, I think we're a couple of the big domestic ones, I'll say the big domestic ones, the flyer, there's only a few of that. We're a couple of domestic flyers have been beat, now that uh, the old's are gone. It's give everyone a little bit more incentive to fight each other now. No one's really worried about losing that old. Because we're all, like, obviously, you, you, when you hold on to it, you're a little bit, uh, and But now it's gone. Now, let's get, now we can start get stuck into it, getting stuck into each other, I think. You say you, you're getting on. You, you're still very young. You're not fancy a Bernard Hopkins style career in over 20 years? <laughs> Forget that. I want to be out by 30. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, uh, do you know what it is? I haven't put a lot of miles on the clock. That's the thing. Like, I have not put a lot of miles. I'm 26. And I have not put a lot of miles on the clock. I've probably been hit. You're right, Ray. I probably got hit more in my last fight, the one where I lost, than I have over my whole career. You know, like so it's like one of them things where that sounds very big-headed, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's one of them things. I ain't got a lot of miles on the clock, and um, I feel like I'm a late developer. My dad said he started developing man strength at 27, 28, and if I'm still got that man strength to develop, it's exciting. It's exciting because I, I still feel like a bit of a boy when I'm in there. Um, I think when that man strength does start kicking in, touch wood fucking soon, um, I'm going to be a, a big threat, a big threat, yeah. So what did you learn from your last fight? Obviously, let's say that's a blessing in disguise. What, what were the things that you did learn? And I guess bringing into tonight as well and for big fights in the future. Make sure the opponents are vetted better. <laughs> no, nah, what I learned was a bit uh, ego, ego, mate. Uh, as in, I learned when to kick it in check. Um, it was my, it was like my full fifth replacement uh, thing. And instead of just turning around and saying, look, nah, he's, he's a lot heavier, like, just get, give it a miss. Um, you're not ready for this yet. Because I knew he would boxed and I knew he was tough. But me thinking I can beat anyone, I was having a little run beating, if I'm, let's be honest, the best win I had was that Ijez Ahmed. And they're not top quality operators like they was back in the amateurs when I was beating amateurs. Like, it's not top quality operators. And um, all of a sudden I jump in with someone who's very heavy handed. Um, it was just a bit silly, thinking I can, you know, like just ego, thinking, thinking you're the man. And um, don't get me wrong, I, I was fully confident going in there. Thought I could beat him easy. Thought, well, I say easy, I thought I was gonna beat him. But what I've learned is, take your time, take your time um yeah take your time and make sure your ego's in check that's one of them yeah now obviously like you say the lower weight divisions there's not as much 
options to, for people to fight. Um, who are those people? I'm not saying you want next. I'm not asking you to call them out and look down the lens and look all angry. Like, but who who are they? Um, I'll be honest. You're looking at if you're looking British at flyweight. You're looking British title. You have got to go with Tommy Frank, Joe Mafosa. I know he's dwindling up at super fly. I mean, there's that Craig Darbyshire who had a draw with him. I mean, he's got a journeyman record. But if he was to nick a belt, it'd be like obviously it wouldn't be worth fighting him right now. Nah, but if he was to nick a belt, which if he's getting a draw with Tommy Frank, he's he's off like top of the domestic scene really isn't he so it's one of them things yeah I've, I'll be honest it's whoever's got whoever's got a belt really I'm done with six and eight rounders I think um, I need to just get pardon me I just get stuck back in well I appreciate your time I'll uh, let you back get back to it appreciate your time thank you man. Awesome.